Hello everybody, this is Andre D. Tune the Great Johnson, along with my co-host D. Main One, and this is W-A-G-E E-N-T Podcast. Today we want to talk about something that happened recently uh, involved uh, my co-host uh, D. Main One, his encounters when he went to a Best Buy, he felt that he was being uh, discriminated against and most of And we want to talk about that because we know that this is a problem amongst a lot of the Afro-American men everywhere. And we just want to bring some enlightenment, tell our parts of what what we had to go through. So uh, d main one, tell us what happened in detail. We tend to get the short end of the stick when it comes to uh, being respected and uh, justice. Yeah. Done equally in certain, uh, in almost every platform, Mm -hmm. you know, which is sad, you know. People of color have to go through this. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, so my uh, situation happens like what went on was uh, I happened to make an order at this Best Buy out in uh, Bridgeton, Missouri. It was an online order. I had to go pick it up. Went to the store, got the item. The young lady said that they were out of bags that uh, I could put my item in. I needed a bag because I had other stuff in my vehicle. I had to take my stuff in, so... I wouldn't really want to care. It'd be more convenient if I had a bag. But she said they were out of bags. And I'm like, damn, wait a minute. Y- y'all out of bags? And this store that has, you know, all this hot technology and stuff like that. I know y'all making money enough to have some bags. So I'm thinking she's jeffing around. I asked her again. She uh, said, yeah, we, truthfully, we out of bags. So to make sure, I just went to another uh, employee and asked him. And he, he said this very same thing. So I stepped a little further toward the uh, inviters, I just call them inviters. They're normally at the door, and uh, they the say greeters. hello. Yeah, the greeters. Mm-hmm. They uh, greet you at the door, and I asked them for a bag. And uh, you know, upon showing them the receipt, what you do once you get an order, he said that they they ran out of bags and not out, uh, any bags. I'm like, man, that is strange. So anyway, you know, I'm continuing on my day, and uh, I had some other uh, shopping I had to do close near another Best Buy. Now, mind you, I went into this Best Buy uh, looking at another item that I wanted to look at in this other Best Buy as well. So I went in there just to check the item, check the price, uh, to also see the open box uh, price. I decided before I left to get a, uh, a bag from them. I went to uh, this one clerk, asked him, can I have a bag? And he asked me, what do I need a bag for? I said, well, I purchased the item from another Best Buy, and they said that they were out of the bags. Uh, so I came up here looking at this other item. I needed a okay. bag to put my uh, item in. Okay, so just let me ask you this. When you approached this uh, clerk, did you have your item already in hand that you that you picked up? No, I did not. You had nothing in your hand? I did not have anything in my hand. Okay, see, I, I can understand. I can almost understand where he coming from. You no, know, you you coming up with nothing in your hands, asking for a bag, and then I think he was every bit within his right to ask you why <laughs> do you need a bag. But go ahead. No, sir, I don't. I understand it in some way, but it, it's many other places. I'm guarantee you, other people could tell you. I, I went to Walmart that when I needed a bag, uh, Snooks. Okay, now think about uh, this. Think, think. Uh, now you know uh, Best Buy is is, is a pretty much high tech place. You know. Yeah, and anybody would love to go there and try to shoplift stuff out of there. Now, if you if you if you come up to a clerk and ask for a bag, you have nothing in your hands. I'm gonna assume that you want a bag so you can put something in there and pretend that you bought it and walk out with it. I mean, come on, let's let's just keep it 100. Well, That's what you, they thought. You can think that, but that never happened. I done it at the best, but let me tell you too. I asked two other employees there for a bag just a, a bag a plastic bag and they were about to give it to me but let me they are about to, okay you said they, they were about to so what happened why let did me, why didn't you? well let me go through the whole uh situation that went on now again i asked him for a bag and he said why did i want a bag i told him why then i asked uh he said that look well i can't give you a bag i was like well why you can't give me a bag well, it's against store policy to give out uh, bags to people that didn't purchase anything. I told him, sir, I just told you I bought a, an item from uh, Best Buy. But yeah, another Best Buy. I know, but you didn't have you. 
You didn't have anything in your hands to prove that though. I, I didn't need that. Yeah, yeah, you do. Why you do, do I need? Because, because wait a minute. What, Joe, I, no, wait a minute. Up, I understand. Saying, Joe Blow can can walk up to <laughs> can, can walk up to a clerk and say, "Hey, uh, I bought something from another Best Buy. Can I get it back?" Yes, sir. But do, do you understand that they have methods of finding out proof of purchase? I know, but that's so. That mind you, let me let me finish. Let me continue. I do not understand what you're saying, but this was not the case where he could get away with that. With that idea or that mind state, he could not get away with that. One, he was by a computer where he could look me up to see if I purchased. I told him I just bought an item from another Best Buy. They ran out of bags and I needed just a bag. I do understand what he's saying. But and then two, I was right at the front of the store where it's really nothing to steal. Once I received the bag, one thing, I mean, it, it is stuff up there. But the, the real thing is what I'm mentioning that is that I'm up at the front of the uh, store. But once I get the bag, he could see me walk out with the bag. I asked him for a bag just to get. So he said, sir, I couldn't give it to you because uh, sto the store policy. But I'm like, man, I just told you I bought something from Best Buy, you know, and to, you know, to bring it all up to where this other uh, part of it was that, um, you know, we, we going back and forth a little bit. Now, my fault, after uh, asking him that and he mentioned it, I just stepped away from him. I said, man, this sounds crazy right here. I do understand what you're saying, but I'm thinking in my mind, you one, you could look me up on a computer, and two, you see me right at the front door. I mean, right by the, the door where if once I receive the bag, you're going to watch where the hell I go. You ain't going to just let me walk around with this damn bag all through the store. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. You're saying, no, I can't give you. Now, if you bought the lease, so I can give you this bag. But yet still, even if you uh, felt that uh, I didn't purchase the stuff there, you could check and see whether or not I bought it from this other Best Buy. So, you know, after asking him, I stepped away from him. I walked to another employee. And again, this guy, as I was trying to mention uh, to you earlier, that he was about to give me the bag. But then he all of a sudden stopped. And the reason why is because they had these little earpieces in the air at some some of these stores they're saying no. where they communicate with each other don't get and it. i believe don't that get this, don't get this guy back that's exactly what i think he told him because he he just looked he's about to hand it to me i actually touched the bag and about to grab it but he pulled it away from me what yes and i'm like i looked at him i said brother <laughs> why you why you take the bag he just was stern didn't say nothing at the guy i didn't even know him I turned around and looked. I'm like, what the hell are you looking at? Then it, it was another brother that happened to walk, to walk by, another uh, Best Buy employee who happened to walk by. Me. And I asked him, I said, yeah, brother, you think you can give me a bag, man? He said, oh, yeah, man, I'll give you a bag. So he's like, you know, what's, what's going on? He's about to get the bag. And, and the guy just looked at him, said something. And he he looked at him, and then he looked over, and then he, I, I don't know if he radioed him to whoever this person was at the time not knowing <laughs> not to give me a bag that guy just walked clean away from me. Mm, and the man. other guy walked away i'm like what the hell going on so i'm sitting there waiting thinking that he finna come back or one of them finna come back and give me a plastic bag i'm like damn it ain't nothing but a bag right. i do i do understand what you're saying there but they they looking at me i'm at the front door but now they're profiling you basically. well they, they basically now looking at me yeah uh, so this other Best Buy employee came I was sat there for a little excuse me about 5 or 10 minutes because I was pissed I'm like man ain't no motherfucking ain't no damn way I'm gonna sit here and this guy tell them I'm not getting a bag or they sitting there tripping off this dude I don't know who this dude is so I asked that uh, uh, this other employee who came by I said could, uh, could I see a manager he said yes sir hold on one minute I'll uh, contact the uh manager to come to you so i'm standing there uh waiting say about two minutes the manager came and <laughs> i couldn't believe who the manager was actually the supervisor at the time the supervisor was the guy uh who i mean that was at the de uh, computer the first time i asked for a bag and mm -hmm. when he came to me he said yes sir what's the problem i said i asked for a bag and you telling me i can't get a bag he said, sir, it's against our store policy. We can't give out bags. I said, man, look, man, I just told you. I mean, can't, you said we can't give out bags now unless you purchase something. I said, look, man, I done told you back there, man, that I done bought a damn 
uh, item from Best Buy and Brist. And I came here in Brentwood. That was Brentwood where they did this book. They came uh, in Brentwood. I said, man, I just came up here looking at this other item, thinking I can get a damn bag, man, to put this item in. And you telling me I can't get a damn bag for something I didn't bought from a store that you are acquainted with. I mean, that that, that is a part of you. Our service against our store. I told him, man, get the fuck out of here. I told him exactly that. I said, look, no, matter of fact, I said, if I come back in the store with the item and the receipt, then you would give me a bag? He said, well, I might give you a bag. You know what? So I went out there and got it. I came back in, but before I even showed him anything, he already had somebody with the bag. To give to put, you. To, 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 to put my item in. I said, no, nah, man, hold up. Before I even do that, let me go back to this uh, mother chucker here, man. I said, look here, man. I didn't bought this damn item. This is the item that I bought. This is the damn receipt, man. Sir, I told you that our, our policy was against people. I said, you know what, man? That's a goddamn lie, dude. You could have fucking did that right at the damn computer. Look me up for a purchase like they always do. Look and see whether or not I bought this item. That way we wouldn't have to go through none of this. Right. But you know what, OD? This, just see how this can be minimized. You know, I think this could have been minimized in a sense if... If you knew you was coming to uh, this particular Best Buy, just to look around, you know you already came from a Best Buy and you had an item that you purchased or picked up in your car and you on your way into a store. I mean, I understand your uh, your analogy of it all, meaning that, you know, that you, you came from another store and you had a, a purchase that you want to put in the bag. It probably would have been better if you probably just had maybe like just a receipt in your hand and ask for a bag because it would be kind of somewhat suspect a person coming in empty handed talking about can't get a bag. Think about this, man. What if everybody done that? What if everybody come in the store empty handed and say, hey, can I get a bag? Man, you know how many times that been done, dude? I don't even know why that even is something. I, I do understand where you're coming from. But people, normally people don't uh, uh, do that. Okay. They don't really worry that's about. The, I mean, if you want, if you in front of the store, I, I didn't ask for many times for a Snooks bag and Walmart Walmart's bag. I bet it been plenty other uh, listeners, man, that probably right. went through that situation and where they never even thought about going back. They, I know. Yeah. I wasn't gonna walk back through the store with the damn bag. But he was he. I think no. No, they would go ahead. I think it was the base of the motherfucker trying to act like an ass. Yeah, that that too. Primarily, yeah. Because uh, he but, immediately cut me off and said, "I can't give you." A, when I told him that I bought it from another Best Buy, and he was by the computer, where he could look me up and everything, he could have just typed that stuff in. What's your name, sir? Even though that's some bullshit for a damn little plastic bag when I'm right by the front door. Look, sir. What's your name? You know, blah blah blah. All the information they need to look yeah. you up. The man didn't do that. He just told me, no, nah, I ain't finna give you no bag. Okay. You know, we, we not giving out bags. As right. a matter of fact, he cut me off a little bit uh, when I said that I bought it from a Best Buy, another Best Buy store. Wait, wait he didn't believe you? I, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck it was. I know that one, right. Right. well, you know, I don't know if it was uh, actually uh, a prejudice thing with me being black. Me being one black. Now, this was a white dude, supervised. Mm -hmm. Me being black. I came in there in my work clothes. What? You, yeah. you was in your work clothes? Yeah, I wasn't in my suit and tie, nothing like that. With, well, know, man, you, a, you, a briefcase and all that. Well, no, but no. To you, buy you, a, I listen, mean, to get a fucking bag. Listen, man, you came in there with your work clothes. You was well deserving of a bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you would Straight think up. that. You, yeah, no no doubt, man. You was well deserving yeah. of a freaking bag. But that, that mother chucker there, man. He was looking for something different. He's just yeah, like, man, he, look here, man. He, he was racially po profiling you. He probably did because I ain't giving this black dude no damn bag. Yeah. So, he, so he go put some stolen items in there. No way. Now my watch. Yeah, I'm thinking. You know, how, well, they, I'm you like, know how they think. I'm thinking, man, he knowing if I said I'm going to use it, I'm going to get this bag. Can I get this bag to put this item in I bought Okay. Uh, out there? I just need a bag because they didn't have any. Okay. I'm not going to sit there and go through the store with the bag. Right. If I was going to do that, then there may be suspicion. So after so after that, you uh, got in contact with the uh, his oh, superiors. Yeah. So you yes yes sir you know more than likely man I didn't uh, uh I had to do something else I had to take it to another level. Bro. So I what, had to let what level him was know, this? Well basically to let uh, uh his superiors know uh, what of a fool 
that they uh this fool that they hired uh, to be in this position okay. you know i didn't really uh when i contact them i made sure that i didn't i didn't feel the necessary need to fire this idiot but basically use him demote him and use him as a lesson i believe okay in a manner so i just contact what i did i contacted a uh, customer service over the phone now they uh told me they couldn't really do anything over the phone i wanted to speak to corporate they mm-hmm. couldn't do anything over the phone, phone but what i could do i can uh they instructed me to uh to go online mm-hmm. and to email uh that store and and let them know the event that went i mean excuse me that uh that situation that went on there at that store I did just that but I took it actually a step further because I knew that so, this guy worked there so he t- was a supervisor okay so he may end up my fault he may end up deleting that or or uh editing that or anything oh, okay. I took it a step further and I contacted other Best Buy basically made them aware of what happened at one of their stores in Singing that's not cool. only that, that was smart. oh yeah I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing but uh, copy and paste. And one other thing, <laughs> I took it a step further than that. I found out where the cor- corporate o- office was. Mm-hmm. So since I couldn't talk to them on the phone, yes, sir, I went on and emailed them that information. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, good. So after doing that, what's the, what was the results? What was your... Uh... Well, the results was I have I was contacted by one of the... Uh, another uh, Best Buy employee, I believe... Uh, I have their name. Uh, I don't know the status of this person. You know whether or not they're managers. I mean, supervisor, or supervisor. What they say? Store. Oh, they basically said that uh, they understand my concerns. They they're glad that I, I reached out to them, uh, and they felt that uh, this guy, the supervisor, was uh, An asshole. Well, excuse me, somewhat right because they do. You got to understand that uh, when it comes to having a bag and walking around in the store with it. It wouldn't be wise for somebody to do, but I'm like, I, right. I, I, he, I didn't ask but, that to walk around in the store. I know, but he, buy he, something. they didn't know that. They, right, right. They didn't know that. So yeah, yeah, they didn't know that, but they did say the way he approached it was wrong because of one, me know, letting them know that he was one by the computer. He could look me up, you know, to, to end it all. Mm-hmm. They had to go through all that yeah. unnecessary stuff. Uh, none of that necessary stuff, and probably how the way he. uh uh, mention that even you know after some of the information i believe but uh you know they made me aware they said they will uh you know let him know his wrong and uh you know basically they will take more steps into it they didn't say it like that but they will they said they will take more basically further gonna look- steps into letting him know where he was wrong so okay. he could be demoted fired i don't know Mm, uh, I, got I got it. his name well i got his name it may be where they don't when i brought the item back in the store with the receipt mm-hmm. and told him you know why uh, it, it would have been so easy for him to just this not to even start where he could have went to the I mean jotted all my information in the computer and seen that I just purchased this item after I told him and showed him that walk to him I said to him that man you know this is what I could have put in the bag man this is the item you see it I had to go through this just to do that he said oh yes sir uh, you're right we had to send bags out to the Brisson store uh, ourselves from our store. I, I was just looking at him. I said, mm. man, get the fuck out of here, man. All this bull crap. And you knew they didn't have bags. And I, and I, I heard it is a person speaking that truth that you knew. So basically, he knew you wasn't lying. He, he knew that I wasn't lying. So but, he, it, but he still he still wanted to be an asshole. That's basically it, man. Okay, well, well you know, like I said, man, you know, we have people like that in this world, you know. Unfortunately, they hold positions that of of authority, and that's very unfortunate. But hopefully, you know, uh, Best Buy will get the uh, the email and they will rectify the situation accordingly. Discipline him would be a good thing. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say you know terminate him for that, but the motion would, would be a good uh, option. But you know, any type of discipline would be good. You know, what I'm I think the fact that you took the time to uh email everybody to inform them of what what going on what went on in one of the uh, establishments i think that was a good thing that's gonna bring some sort of awareness to to them all yeah they 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 did reply uh and i just told them uh you know thank you for that uh thank you for that you know responding back letting me know and uh, i hope that they would actually 
you know, look more into this where they can teach this for a customer, uh, you know, treating people uh, right. equally through all the Best Buys. If this is something that they uh, they found through their cameras and all this other investigation they may do. That's good. Well, you know, like I said, we you know we glad that we got the uh, we got the proper results that we wanted, and we all we both happy that you know it, it turned out the way it did because you know it could have went bad. You know they could have called the police, and you know <laughs> once that happened, you know that can be a, another situation. That could be another whole podcast to, to, to talk about. Yeah, but if anybody who experienced anything like this before, please like, listen, subscribe. Uh, please give a comment on what we talked about today i know it's not foreign that this type of thing go on and uh in our part of the world so hey we just need everybody to be more aware of what's going on and mm-hmm. stay positive and always try to do the right thing yeah. take proper steps yeah. by far with uh strategically you know no doubt but this is andre d tune the great johnson along with my co-host D main one. And this is W A G E E N T podcast. We out.